next few minutes we will explain what transaction batches are and show you how to enter journal entries in a batch in the general ledger. The general ledger journal entry window allows you to record general journal entries and record all the transaction details for those debit and credit entries. Please note that you enter a journal entry through the batch entry process. There are specific steps involved in recording a batch and recording the transactions within the batch. First you create a new batch and then in that batch you enter your journal entries. Your batch entries would consist of journal entries in the general ledger. Finally, to record those transactions in your transaction history, you would post a batch. This gives you the ability to enter multiple transactions at once, to verify them before you actually record them in the transaction history, and to make edits before you post them if necessary. Once you post a transaction, they are then updated in the transaction history. The batch list window would help you manage this effectively. Let's take a look at recording journal entries in the general ledger. In Sage 300, go to General Ledger, then General Ledger Transactions, and select Journal Entry. From the Journal Entry window, we have the ability to record all the details for our journal entry. Remember that in order to record a journal entry, we need to first create a batch and then enter the journal entries from within the batch. To create a new batch, click New. Alternatively, we can manage batches easily from the Batch List window. Let's see how to use this window. Close out of this batch. To access the batch list window, go to General Ledger, then General Ledger Transactions, and select Batch List. The batch list window allows you to manage the entire batch entry process. From here, you can create a new batch, view existing batches, print batch information, post batches, and you can review any batch entries by double-clicking to view the batch details. To create a new batch and to begin recording journal entries, you can click New. Creating a new batch takes you to the journal entry window. You can enter a batch description. The batch number is automatically assigned. There are also entry numbers for individual journal entries recorded in the batch. There is a summary area in the journal entry window that will keep track of the number of entries and total debits and credits. We have a total of the debits and credits for this particular entry and a helpful tool that lets us know whether we are out of balance. Please note that you cannot post a journal entry that is out of balance. After entering an entry number, you can enter an entry description. Then enter the date. This date will affect the year and period this transaction is posted to. Every journal entry recorded requires a source code. This will help identify the type of transaction and the module the transaction originated from. We can click the finder and select the source code for this entry. Then continue to enter the details for each line by entering the reference, description, accounts, debits and credits, and have different source journal types for individual lines. You can also scroll across to view the other columns. When finished, add the journal entry by clicking Add. Note the summary has now increased to one entry with its debits and credits. We can now continue to record another entry. One of the options available to you when recording journal entries is the normal mode or the quick mode. Normal and quick relate to the descriptive fields in the detail lines. With normal mode, you can record the descriptive fields individually for each line, while quick mode allows you to copy the descriptive fields from line to line. When using quick mode, you put in a reference, description, account, and amount, and to make this quick, you can press the insert key. When you press insert to add a new line, the reference and description have come down to the second line as well. This also works for the comment field. Another feature to mention with the journal entries is the auto reverse function. If you are recording accruals or any type of transaction you would want to automatically reverse in the next period or in a specific period, you have the option to do that. Auto reverse creates two journal entries, one with the original entry and another with the reversal in the subsequent period that you have selected. Finally, if you're not comfortable with recording the details in the journal entries in a grid format, you can always go to the detail window, which has all the fields that are available in the grid laid out differently. Let's close out of the window. Congratulations. You now know what transaction batches are and how to enter a journal entry in a batch in the general ledger.